before he, you were both commenting that you were a little frustrated that when you complain to the higher ups about how certain people are acting, you really don't get the right kind of response. I think it would be more of a satisfaction if you had a definitive response saying, oh yes, we will take care of that for you. We are very sorry that you had to have that kind of experience. I've had that with LinkedIn. They have listened to me. Very good. So they've given you the kind of feedback you've asked for and, yeah. and helped you out and you were satisfied? Yes, because those, those particular people that I reported, I do not see them again on LinkedIn. And when I report them, I explain exactly what the circumstances are. It doesn't mean that tomorrow I might not hear from someone else. You know, every day is a new adventure. Right. But times where I have complained that people are pretending that they have some kind of a, a charity or um, the best is when people pretend that they're in the military. And I have enormous respect for people in the service. I have enormous respect for vets and I want them to enter back into society the way that they should. But people put on military garb and then they reach out to me that I have a treasure that I took from Afghanistan. I would like to hide it in your kitchen. You know, those things have to be dealt with in the field. Yeah. Those are really appropriate. And do not just the military. That is not acceptable to me at all. Absolutely. One of our first guests, uh, Gazelle, um, pointed out that for any serving military, social media is banned. And so quite often a contact from someone who claims they're in the military is a fraud. Just immediately it's a fraud. Wow. Uh, and, uh, and, you know, we were talking about tugging on the heartstrings. Um, Gregory, there's a book called Scam Me If You Can. One of the things scammers are doing now is they'll phone you up and say, oh, we've got your son in prison and uh, you've got to send us this bail. And the, the where it falls down is you've got to give us this bail in vouchers or you've got to wire it transfer Western Union. And people are so frightened for their loved one Mm -hmm. that rational thought goes out the window. Inga, now I'm pronouncing it correctly, I'm not going to get it wrong now, and in fact I'm going to make a point of it from here on out. Uh, <laughs> Gregory literally said the thing you have a phrase for, please share it with him. The phrase is pitch slap. <laughs> I like it, I like it. Well, well played. Um, and it's not my phrase. I've I picked it up from a friend who picked it up from somebody else. So, yeah. <laughs> That's the best kind of networking, though, isn't it? Yes. There you go. <laughs> and it just shows you how common it actually is. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, it, it happens a lot, and so it, it is what it is. And I, you know, I, I tend to just say, be take the high road and be polite. Say, hey, thanks, good luck with that. Not something I'm interested in. And and usually they'll let it go from there. Occasionally, I'll try to add some advice, but it's, it falls on deaf ears. So I just say, thanks, no thanks. Yeah. What would you like to see, Inga, as a change? Don't laugh. Um, no, I, because I'm not laughing. I'm just... Um, smiling broadly. You, you're, picking, you're picking up when I want to speak. That's why I'm smiling. But um, okay. anyway, uh, I've... It, I've had occasion where I actually um, jumped on calls with people that were doing that um, and just to help them um, one gentleman like it was just not something that he knew because of the place where he originated from he just didn't know that this was rude he didn't you know and so I've gotten into conversations where I've said like um please like don't don't do this the best way to go about it is like this and he asked that one gentleman actually asked me for a call and I had a call with him and basically I coached him as to how to approach people on LinkedIn um, instead of you know there's been you can tell when somebody is open to to being coached right and because this is the platform that I love the most um, and I love to meet people um, through here, I just I was open to giving him that feedback, and he was open to receive it, which was really good. 